Hey, what's going on today? We're going to take a look at the assault rifles in Warzone, and I'm going to be ranking them from meta to avoid based on what I've researched and my, I guess my own opinion too. Now, if you have a different opinion than I do, make sure you drop that down below, okay? And as always, make sure you hit that sub button too. Join the fam. Let's go. And here we go. Now for this first one, I thought this was pretty obvious. Although I did run into a couple people using it the other day. You should definitely be avoiding the Odin. Please, for the love of God, just don't use it. It's not good. Shoots too slow. And the best thing about this season is I couldn't find too many ARs that were just not good. Other than you have the Odin and you have the Scar. I didn't put the Scar in here because I felt like even putting the Odin, that was pretty much basic knowledge. I would hope, but definitely do not be using those two. I didn't put anything in not good because I think in this season, there's so many guns that are actually viable. So let's check out the next section. Ooh, what do we got here? Bam, we got the QBZ, the M13, the Krig 6, and the AN94. Both of the QBZ and the M13 kind of, uh, they kind of hit the same. They don't have a, a crap ton of damage, but they shoot like a laser and they shoot fast too. I believe the crit got a little bit of a buff. The AN94 has always been kind of under the radar too. It's got those first two bullets that shoot very fast, which leads us into the next section, which is viable. This is the best part of season three right here. Oof, here we go. Okay, we got the Grau, we got the M4, we got the AS Val, the Ram 7, the Kilo, FFAR, and the Cold War AK-47. This is literally the best part about the season, is right now, there isn't that gun that's just super overpowered. You can drop in with any of these guns and win games. To where before, when the FFAR was super overpowered, or the, even the DMR, you really had like no shot. On top of that, I would say that these are all pretty much good long range guns except for obviously the AS Val and then the FFAR isn't anymore. The AK-47, if you can handle the recoil, ooh, you hit those shots, you'd be melting people. But I was definitely gonna put the AS Val in here just because a lot of people even use that as their secondary so they might be running two ARs in a class. Everybody knows the Kilo is my baby. And then we are into our last section here. This is my opinion, this is what I think. Let me know down below what you think. Should be where? Let's check it out. As expected, we have the we have the Amax and the Farah. Now, last season, the Farah, I really wouldn't recommend that too much because the recoil pattern was all over the place. It made like a weird Z shape, but they definitely changed that. Now, I can actually shoot kids that are 80, 80 meters away. Very high fire rate. The Amax, if you can control the recoil and hit your shots, it has the quickest it has the quickest time to kill. Long range, short range, medium range, it doesn't matter. It's an absolute beast. I just thought that'd be cool to make like a, a little chart and kind of show what I think along with everybody else as far as the meta and then the guns that I think are just okay and the ones that are viable to use right now. Obviously, I only, I only did ARs this video. Um, maybe we can come back and do some other uh, sections. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. We're out of here.